Right then guys, so today we're going to fit the um, KTM Airbox mod to this bike. I've gone for the head mount today rather than the um, rather than the tripod, so hopefully this works. That just literally Ooh, come on. Off to a good start, so that just unclips out of there. And uh, one thing you can do with bikes is use them to help other bikes. So um, I'll come around this way. I think all we need to do for this is take off these star torques, and that's about it. This comes off. I think this is the uh, the air intake here, which is not great. I'm going to replace it with this puppy. So I'll preserve the packaging. Power parts. This came with the bike. God knows how much someone's paid for this. Right, let's uh, let's get to work. So I think I want that one, that one. Stars are here. That's a big one. Two big one. Big one. Well, as well, I've had this. I've had the bike for nearly three years, or about three years. And if it's just two star torques to change this for extra performance, then I'm a bit of an idiot for not doing it sooner. Well, that's it there. Give it a tug. Right. And I think that's it. Oh, no. No, no, the plot thickens. So let's, let's have a look at this air filter first. I mean, I was going to go for the K&N one. But it's, uh, it's on my to-do list. Nice and clean in there, so it's obviously doing its job. 2016, wow. Right, we will get that changed. Doesn't really do the mileage, but 2016 is... That's nearly 10-year-old. <laughs> Although the bike's only done about 4,000 miles plus. So the question then is, how do we get that in there? So I can't quite see... Oh yeah, so there's two teeth. I'm not sure whether you can see, there's two sort of recess holes there and then there's two teeth on this. So this should shimmy its way along. Okay. There's just some stuff in the way. I'm not sure how well this is coming out on the screen, it's quite dark, but all this, it seems, needs to move. A little clutch cable and then some electric wires. That's the issue there. We've got these wires in the way. So I'm trying to work out where I can put them. This sat nav wire is not helping. I'm wondering whether a fairing's gonna have to come off here. Try. Okay, so a little change of tack. What we're going to do? Usually take this fairing off. Which I haven't actually done before. So it looks as though that's detached from there. It may be that's it. Which also 
gives me access to the spark plug for the first time. So, what we want to do is just continue to struggle like this. Now I'm just trying to compare. I mean, it's kind of the... Okay, that's why. So the profile is, is a lot taller than this, seems to be butting up against these wires here. You know what, that might just do it. I think that's right, okay. Just needed a little bit of a push. So that's it, it's as simple as that. It's taken me three years to be bothered to do that. In my defense, it's not as if the bike needs more power or grunt or anything. So what we could just do is going forward a little bit further. Not enough hands. That's better. That's it. <laughs> and uh, just make sure the seat goes on. Not sure whether I'm going to nip that up with a socket. I think that would be enough. And then this just clips in uh, two little clips there. That's one. Sorry if you can't see this, but I can barely see myself. Oh. One in, two in. Right. So basically under here, there was just, there were just two attached to this, two black plastic prongs and then there's two grooves, you just lift it both together and then I should just go back in there. Probably do with cleaning these screws up at some time as these starter hooks up. So yeah, that's the airbox mod, successfully done. Nothing to it. And then we'll just get the seat. Probably could do with coming around this way for this. That goes in a little groove. There. Check the wire's not gonna be trapped. And that's it. Airbox mod done. <laughs>